Hey there, and welcome to the Weeb Lounge. I'm Nick, and December 1st is the day. It is the day we get a new banner for a new character. That would be Zhang Li. We get a new weapons banner. We get a new story quest, and you guys are getting some information right after the opening. All right, the event wish is Zhang Li. We've been waiting for this character for a while. I know I have. But also, you have Xin Yan, you have Chong Yun, and you have Razor in there as well as all rate up servants. Now, everybody's been waiting for that, but what we didn't know was the Epitome Invocation. The Epitome Invocation is basically two new weapons a Claymore and a Spear. Now, these two weapons are very much geared towards Xin Yan and Zhong Li. Now, both of them are attack for primary stat, secondary stat is attack percentage, and the special passive is that it increases a shield strength by 20%. Uh, scoring hits on opponents increases attack by 4% for 8 seconds. You get 5 stacks of that, only 1 every point three, which actually it happens pretty quick. And while you're protected by a shield, that effect is doubled. So instead of the, uh, four, let's see, four percent, five stacks, twenty percent, and it, you got a shield, it'll stack that. It'll be forty percent instead of the twenty. And both the claymore and the pole arm have that exact trait to it. Now, the thing is, I'm sitting here looking at these weapons, and it's like, okay, well, the claymore for Xinyan or whatever, that seems like it would work out pretty good, wouldn't it? And yeah, I'm like, they could, it's, you know, a pretty good weapon for her, right? Five stars, pretty high attack. And the pole arm, though, I'm like, huh. I'm not so sure the pole arm would be necessarily Zhongli's best in slot. Because, you know, we have the Primordial Jade Wing Spear, which is on hit increases attack by 3.2%. For six seconds, seven stacks, and while you have the max stacks, it's another 12% on top of that. And instead of uh, attack percentage, you get crit rate. So it makes me kind of wonder. It's like when I started to compare the special attribute of the Primordial Jade Wing Spear, that the text uh, tribute, along with the new weapon, the Summit Shaper, I, I started thinking, well, wait a minute. These, these two kind of balance out because, you know, it, the special effect for the extra doubling or whatever is only when you have a shield up. And, you know, we all know that we're not going to have a shield up 24 seven. So it's, you know, you have, if you have 40% increased attack, you kind of have to mitigate that a little bit to factor in for the time that you don't have a shield up. So it's not really 40%. It's kind of going to scale based on averages, but you know, that that's math, math, bad. So the text on the wing spear to me, it seems either equal or maybe even a little bit better than the Summit Shaper. So it's all a matter of, do you want attack percentage or do you want crit rate? Which one do you go for? And I, I'm kind of torn between this because it, I think it really comes down to what kind of artifacts that you place on Zhang Li. Uh, Xin Yan, you know, she's pretty straightforward and everything with her defense and, you know, all that stuff. But... Zhongli, it just seems like he's he can make either of those weapons work work very well, but really depending on the type of gear. Are you are you going for straight hit damage? You know, not worrying about crits, or are you are you trying to be a crit machine, or are you just poking? <laughs> That's, you you kind of have to figure out which one that you're going to do. And you know, if you're trying to be a crit machine, the the winged spear is going to be good. If you're just poking, then the summit shaper. That that kind of sums it up, really. Either poker wing, poker wing, it's poker wing. Yeah, okay. Anyways, that seems to be the case for that. So the weapons, I have to say that the weapons are actually kind of lackluster. Like the Claymore equivalent, I started scratching my head and I was like, huh, that sounds like it could be something that maybe Noel could use, right? Because, you know, the defense and shield up and extra. No, the, the white blind, I think, is still better for Noel. It's... Because Noelle has that defense percent buff to attack or whatever based on her defense. And the Claymore doesn't raise defense. It just raises an effect on a shield. 
And she can have a shield up pretty often, but I don't think enough to outbalance White Blind. So I don't think it's a good weapon for Noel if you craft the White Blind. So uh, I guess in summary for the weapons banner, the weapons banner is kind of meh. You know, just, uh, I don't see myself unless I get really lucky and have a whole bunch of primo gems left over for when I'm trying to get uh, Zhongli to C6 that I'll spend any on the banner. I'm just, they're, they're not terribly interesting. And they're really, really, really specific for a character. So, yeah, no, I don't think the weapons uh, banner is going to be all that great. But, you know, you have the story quest and it has to do with Zhongli, of course. And that's where you have to, you know, spend a little ticket things or whatever to unlock the story quest. So make sure you do that. You're going to get a bunch of Primo gems through there. And, you know, I've been going through some of the constellations for Zhongli. And it seems like the later constellations, they might not be terribly, like, super uber anything. Take a look at these real quick. I'm pulling them up. So, Constellation, the first one, increases the maximum number of stones, uh, steels, created by Dominanananana, whatever they get to. Basically, you can put two constructs out instead of one, right? And then you have Planet Befall, which is his big old whoo, thing or whatever, and uh, he gr grants people a Jade Shield, and then you have your basic upgrades. You have one that increases the AoE by 20%. A lot of people were mistaken. They said, oh, oh, the AoE, it's going to be 20% more damage. No! Here's your circle, 20% more, there's your circle. It got bigger, you know, whoop, whoop de do. But it also extends that petrification effect, you know, the stun effect, so by two seconds, so that's pretty good. And then also you have the Jade Shield, uh, when it takes damage, it's it's partially, con part of the damage is converted to hit points at most 8%, so he can, it's kind of a self-heal thing, but it's not a great heal. So, you know, actually, C6 and Zhongli might not be a good idea. Maybe I should save my money. I don't know. Maybe go to C5. That last one just seems kind of meh. Yeah. Well, I've already been uh, buying the Primo gem, so I'm going to be blowing a whole bunch of them. That's all I know. So, needless to say, uh, the weapons, ba the, the character Zhongli, he is going to be awesome. Jinyan, of course, is going to be a good support or just, you know, mix match, which what whatever pyro character you got the weapons banner though it's i no i've i'm i really am gonna think i'm i'm gonna skip it i really do think i'm gonna skip it it just it just seems so lackluster the weapons seem way too specific you know when i heard saw about the you know the shield thing and everything i'm like ooh, i can get something better for noel because my noel's weapon is really horrible i can't get a drop for my life to craft the white blind and then realize white blind's still better. So, yeah. Well, anyways, new banners, December 1st. Get them while you can. And on December 1st, I am planning to do a stream. Uh, I am likely going to try to C6 Zhang Li as long as my wallet holds out. <laughs> I'm already sitting on over 70,000 Primo gems. I'm picking up a little bit of the day to day before I get to. Uh, the event itself, so I'm pretty sure I'll have well over 80,000, maybe close to 100,000 Primo Gems to dump in this banner. It's going to be nutty, and I'm going to be summoning for a while. My God. Uh, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button. Really much appreciated. And don't forget to log in December 1st. Get your stuff. Pick up that storyline quest. And if you're going for Zhongli, good luck. We're all going to need it. We'll see you in the next video.